please stand. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many other blessings He bears. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Magandang umaga din po sa lahat ng mga nakikinig sa radio at nanonood sa live streaming. Let's begin our celebration by pausing for a while and calling to mind all our sins and failures. Ask God for forgiveness and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of our Virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, he himself the Savior of the body, as the church is subordinate to Christ. So wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies, he who, love, he who loves his wife loves himself. For no, one's, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the Church. In any case, each one of you should love his wife as him himself, and the wife should respect her husband. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your hands to work. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord, 
The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of my life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat, lalong-lalo na sa mga nakikinig sa radio at nanonood ng live streaming. Kaharian ang Diyos. Kaharian ng langit, buhay na walang hanggan. Lahat yan, isa lang ang tinutukoy, ang punot dulo ng ating existence, ang kaharian ng Diyos. Sa Diyos tayo nang galing. Sana, sa Diyos din tayo babalik. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. God, our beginning, our end. Kaya nga, napaka-interesting na paminsan-minsan binibigyan tayo ni Jesus ng idea kung ano nga ba ang kaharian ng Diyos. Ano nga ba ang kaharian ng langit? So sa gospel na binasa natin ngayong umaga, nagbigay si Jesus ng dalawang images para ipaliwanag sa atin ang kaharian ng Diyos. Una, sabi niya, ang kaharian ng Diyos daw ay parang mustard seed, buto ng mustasa. Siguro kahit anong buto. Maraming kailangan mangyari para matupad ang mission ng mustard seed. Para matupad ang existence ng mustard seed. Kailangan siyang itanim. Unang-una, pinaka-importante siguro, kinakailangan itanim ang mustard seed. Ilibing sa lupa. Mawala sa ating pananaw dahil nakalibing. Tayo man, kung tayo ay mapupunta sa kaharian ng Diyos o mag enjoy ng kaharian ng Diyos, kailangan ding mawala paminsan-minsan. Hindi tumawag ng atensyon, ay kailangan tayo hindi tumawag ng atensyon sa ating sarili para ang Diyos ang magiging bida. Sa kaharian ng Diyos, ang Diyos ang bida. Dahil habang ang kaharian ng langit ay para sa atin, ito, ay, ito naman ay tungkol sa pakikiisa sa Diyos. Pakikiisa sa Diyos. Kailangan ding alagaan ang mustard seed na itinanim. Kailangan diligan, parawan, tanggalan ng tuyong dahon at iba pa para itutumubo ng, at magyabong at mabahayan ng mga ibon. Ang kahari ng Diyos na itinanim rin sa ating puso ay kailangan ng tamang pag-aaruga para magyabong. Maalagaan natin ito sa pagdarasal, sa pagbabasa at pagmumuni-muni sa salita ng Diyos. Kaya nga sa misa, lagi merong binabasa at pinapaliwanag na salita ng Diyos. Sa pag-iisip at paggawa at pagsalita ng mabuti. So pwede natin tanong yung ating sarili. Nabibigyan ba natin ng karapat-dapat na halaga ang kaharian ng Diyos sa ating buhay? 
sa ating araw-araw na buhay. Nabibigyan ba natin ng halaga ang kaharian ng Diyos? Inaalagaan ba natin ito? Inaalagaan ba natin ito? Ang pangalawang image ng kaharian ng Diyos na binigay ng, ng Panginoon ay yeast. Yeast. Hindi ko alam kung anong sa Tagalog yung yeast. Na kailangan itong ihalo at itago sa harina para magpalsa ng masa na gagawing tinapay. Tulad ng mustard seed na itinanim sa lupa, ang yeast din ay kailangang ihalo, ihalo sa loob ng harina para matupad ang misyon nito. Sa tunay na buhay man, kailangan tayo na mawala, maihalo sa marami upang tumubo ang kaharian ng Diyos. Hindi lalago ang kaharian ng Diyos kung nakatago lang. Kailangan ihalo sa iba para matupad ang misyon nito. Ang maisawalat sa buong mundo ang kadakilaan at kabutihan ng Diyos. So, tanong natin sa ating sarili. Nakikilala ba natin o nakikilala ba ng iba ang kaharian ng Diyos sa pamumuhay natin? Nakikita ba ng iba ang kaharian ng Diyos sa pamumuhay natin? Sa ating pag-iisip, sa ating pananalita, sa ating galaw at gawa, lumalago ba ang kaharian ng Diyos sa buhay natin? Tumutubo ba? Nagbubunga? Lumalaki? Sa mata ng Diyos, tayo ang pinakamahalagang nilalang. Kaya nga, kilala tayo ng Diyos sa pangalan. Pero para tayo makarating sa kaharian ng Diyos, sa kaharian ng langit, kailangan ang Diyos ang maging bida sa buhay natin. Si Jesus ang nagbibigay sa isay sa buhay natin. Kaya pala sinabi ni Jesus sa gospel nung linggo, nung nakarang linggo lang, nung tanungin siya kung alin ang pinakamalagang commandment, sabi niya, Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Bida ang Diyos sa buhay natin. May isa pang katangian ang kaharian ng Diyos na ipinahihiwatig ng dalawang images. Ang kaharian ng Diyos ay bukas para sa lahat. Yung mustard seed na naging shrub, naging bush, bukas para sa lahat ng ibon. Yung yeast, nagpalsa sa buong three measures of flour. Inapektuhan lahat ng buong flour. Nung hinalo sa sa, sa flour, ito ay umalsa. Ganun din ang karyan ng Diyos. Karyan ng Diyos ay bukas para sa lahat. Pero yung karyan ng Diyos na yun, dapat na, na buhay na sa atin, no? sa ating sarili. So dapat lang na tayo rin ay bukas sa iba. Hindi lang dun sa mga gusto natin makasama, hindi lang dun sa meron tayong makukuha, kundi sa lahat ng tao. Kahit yung mga nakasakit sa atin o nakagawa sa atin ng hindi maganda. Kailangan kung nasa sa atin ang kaharian ng Diyos, kailangan tayo rin, katulad ng kaharian ng Diyos, katulad ng Diyos mismo, bukas para sa lahat. So, pwede natin tanungin ating sarili, bukas nga ba tayo para sa lahat? Natatanggap ba natin ang lahat kahit sino? Let us all stand now. Like a great tree with flourishing branches, or like a seed quietly growing, so the kingdom of God spreads. We make our prayers together as our share in that loving plan of divine providence. After each petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to grow by welcoming and redeeming human cultures and values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those involved in economic development programs may support farmers and may those who develop the land protect and respect the natural environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace 
and mature into Christ-like people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and may be strengthened through our care and concern, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. my dear friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look we pray O Lord on the offerings we make to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us grant peace. peace. Please kneel.
This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Please join me as we play the orat pray the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Get the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find, find cure and solution to this pandemic. pandemic. We, we pray, pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa dito sa ating Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now bless the sick and pray for your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed, and those who use them made holy, as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.